Do a full face of viral products that are not worth the hype. I think it's time to wrap up 2022. So many products went viral, but there are some that I didn't like. Today, I'm going to be choosing all those products and also get one that I do like. You guys just have to guess which one is which. And obviously, when we do our makeup, I'm going to explain why I don't like those products. This is my selection for tinted moisturizer. Mm hmm this one is hard for blush i feel like if you watch my videos enough you can guess which one is my favorite and which one is not powder mm. tough decisions my absolute favorite drawer gosh oh mm -mm -mm. kitchen not the womp 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 song was in my head it last for a setting spray nobody sees this messy pile okay all right i think i have everything now it's time to do our makeup with these tiktok viral products that are not worth your money we're doing a full face of tiktok viral makeup that are not worth your hype I picked out two products for each category so one side we're gonna do viral products that are worth the hype and the other ones are not worth the hype first thing is primer and the one that i don't like is charlotte tilbury flawless filter i really feel like i try my best to like it but the second elf halo glow came out i was like no i really don't like the charlotte tilbury one first of all the charlotte one is so expensive but also i feel like it exaggerates my pores as you can see the elf halo glow doesn't do and this is a fraction of the price of this now for skin tint this is crazy because these two products came out around the same time and at the time, I really liked the both of them, but after using it for almost a year, I liked the Fenty one so much more. Only because this gives such a good coverage. It does such a good job in covering all of my acne and acne scars. Making the Rare Beauty one just less outstanding if you don't have perfect skin. It's just a little too sheer and runny. Also, it applies really patchy. Now for blush, I'm gonna let Rare Beauty redeem by saying this is the best blush ever. The formula is creamy, it's pigmented, it's buildable. And comparing it to the NARS one, this is just way too expensive expensive and also it doesn't really show up on my skin you see how this side is so much more pigmented now, i do have a few more tiktok flower products that didn't work for me so go to part two part two of doing a full face of makeup products are not worth the hype if you watch my videos often you would know that i love this concealer since the day it was launched the formula is just so creamy so easy to blend which is perfect for your under eye but also it has a really nice coverage now the concealer that i don't think is worth their money is this one from ColourPop. i feel like they're pretty fresh line it's a lot of people's all-time favorite but this is just too patchy it also smell a little weird it smells like paint now for powder i feel like this one from milani it literally just launched and is going viral right now and when milani says blurring she's not joking because look at this that's a powder that i don't think is worth the hype is this la girl powder it is a translucent powder and i think it's just too powdery like this is not a good look finishing off with setting spray guys can we not make glitter spray a thing it just gets everywhere and it's not even cute but the one that i would go for instead is this milani make it last now to finish off with a lip oil i personally love this applicator from rem beauty but the actual lip oil itself is actually really drying throughout the day and the lip oil i'll go for instead is the one from lady gaga it actually tints your lips a little too now here's the side of tiktok viral makeup that are not worth the hype compared to the ones that are actually worth the hype what do we think i clearly love this size so much more 